What's good YouTube, Justo Farm here. Welcome to the next part of the Justo Farm Coffee Lake PC build. And if you guys haven't seen the part last part, make sure you guys go check that out. In the last part we installed the NZXT radiator and all that. And we did do a little bit of modifications to it. We just adjusted it a little bit higher in the last part since we updated it. Uh, we, so just so the front case can be installed. The front, what is it? This the front plastic panel guys. We just have to raise it a little bit just so this would actually go in properly. So that's the reason we did that. But with further ado, in this part, guys, we're going to be installing the SATA dr dr drive bay. Or that's what it is, right? Yeah. Definitely. And we got to install the bottom part first. We got to install those screws. And we got to install the bay. But before we do that, guys, we got to put our thermal take fan in. So I'm not really going to bore you guys with all of that. If you guys want to skip to the next part, you guys can skip that. The next part will be unboxing the Samsung SSD. But quickly guys, I'm going to show you guys the, how to install this. I'm most likely going to be, or the way to install it is, let me just adjust the camera real quickly guys. So I'm going to be screwing it in right here. So the fan's pretty much going to go, just to show you guys what I'm talking about. The fan's going to be going over here. This drive bay is going to have to fit right around here. And this thing's gonna get screwed on back there, up there. So that's how it's gonna be working, guys. So let me install the fan at the bottom, and then I'll show you guys how to install the bay, guys. All right, guys. So pretty much, I installed the fan. I got the fan installed at the bottom. I hooked that all up. I got it wired to the back, and now pretty much this bracket, the SATA drive, the SATA drive bay back bracket is gonna be going. That thing that's under there is gonna be going on top of that. So there's screw holes there and there and those are screw holes those screw holes gotta line up here so pretty much this fan has a cutout right back there and that cutout's gonna allow this wire to fit right back in here as i've made it so i just gotta push this on top and then this got a little pretty much a squeeze in there and simple as that guys the brackets on top and the fan is underneath so now i just gotta screw those in with the the hardware that's provided right there the screws and then uh, this bay will pretty much slide on on top and then I would install the initial screws from the back guys so let me quickly do that alright guys so we installed or I installed the bottom bay uh, we put the screws in over there and all that it's kinda hard to get it in there you guys can see put those screws in there and I moved the fan over too just so this area is more cleaner and so the wire is going to be going from the back corner through there and all that and now the next step would be just putting the SATA drive bay on top and this thing if you guys can see there's a rail on the bottom so that would just slide on to that rail with the arrow indicated so it's not that hard to do with one hand it would just slide on and I'm gonna hold the light real quickly. I'll just use my right hand real quickly. So yeah guys, it pretty much just slides on like that. And that hole right there got lined up. As you guys can see, from there to there. That hole right there gets lined up, as well as the hole back in there. It's kind of hard to see. Is the what is that one hole there and one hole there? Oh, two screws. Two screws. So we gotta put those two more screws in, guys, and that will be the end of this video. So let's just finish doing that right now. All right, guys, we got the SSD installed. It's all screwed in. That screw's put in. For that screw over there, I had to put it from the back side because it was too hard to do that one. But as you guys can see, it's sturdy. It's not shaking. Then the case is shaking. It's because it's on the plastic table. But you guys know what I mean. It's all set up. Now the next step would be just putting the SSD, installing the SSD in here guys. It would just screw into those screws there. But yeah guys, thanks for watching. Make sure you guys check out the next part in the series when we're going to be unboxing the SSD. And then we're finally going to show you guys how to install it guys. Thanks for watching and take care.